The froggy chair revolution has been enacted. We will. Uh, 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 you're. Uh, uh, uh. Hey goofballs, and welcome to episode 440 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we made Dazu, and in this episode, we're gonna make Dazu 2. Anyway, today, as always, I will be getting a island-wide Burrofini from Isabel, so let's do that. Isabel, can I please have an island-wide Burrofini, also known as island-wide broadcast? Hello there, everyone! Hello! Right now in Jacktown, it's 12.08 p.m. on Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. Yeah, it is. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, uh, but... Are you kidding me? It's April 3rd! You know what that means, Isabel. Uh... Don't you remember? April 3rd is the day where... Where I talk about my TV watching habits? Yes, there. Okay, so talk about what? your TV. Oh! Talk about your TV habits then. Listen to this. I was having a hard time with my crossword puzzle, but I finally figured it out, and the final clue was TV. Aha! Oh, I guess that doesn't really qualify as news, does it? Well, yes, it does, because it's April 3rd, the day that you talk about TV. And with that, I'll get back to. To work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Uh, Isabel, are you okay there? Yeah, I was thinking about that crossword puzzle. <laughs> I, I, I know. When I, whenever I'm thinking about fish, just sometimes my, I just, I'm just talking and then... Oh, right, and then I stop. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about fish. Anyway, uh, nook shopping time. Let's see what we have. Anything interesting? No, not really anything interesting. Everything that's interesting in Nook Shopping, I already have. Ooh, we have a lot of stuff. Happy Home Academy, we can throw that away because who cares about it? Uh, Jolly Red is just a fake piece of artwork we don't need to do. Uh, then we have the one from Wardell and the one from Bubbles. Those two we do need to read, though, because those are important. I can just imagine Bubbles reading this to me now. Try the skill card. I believe it's super important to be adventurous in fashion. So I got you this piece because it looks like something you'd never wear. Since I can't see your reaction in person, I'll just assume you love it. I love it, too. Bubbles. Next, we have one from Wardell. We don't get ones from Wardell that often, so this is a special little treat, isn't it? My nice friend, Jack. Here's a gift as thanks for all of your hard work. It is an original item from Paradise Planning. I hope you like it, my friend, Wardell. Right! So, oh, don't mind the bugs. It's for Dazoo, too. We'll get to that later. Anyway... Uh, let's see. We have a ski mask and a paradise planning umbrella. Let's let's see how this looks. I'll do I'll do a little uh, singing in the rain dance. I'm singing in the rain. Yeah, singing in the rain. Even though it's not raining right now. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not raining right now. So why am I even singing this? All right, cause I have a paradise plan planning umbrella. Right, anything interesting in the store? No. There's a lot of interesting stuff in the store, however, I already have everything that is interesting in the store, so I may as well not buy it. Because I already have it. Oh, what could this be? Is it a lost item? What? Okay, oh uh, yeah, it's a lost item. Let's see, uh, who it is for. Anyway, an adorable handcraft bag with some... With something hard. And rectangular inside. Maybe it's a book. It's either Sky or Peaches. Sky or Peaches. You know what? How I'm gonna decide this? I'm gonna flip an imaginary coin. Head Sky, tails Peaches. Okay, then. Uh, looks like it's for Sky. 
Sky, how you doing, buddy? I have a bag for you that definitely belongs to you. The imaginary coin never lies. Good afternoon, Poyo Gono. You drop this? Maybe. What is it? Uh, it's a bag. It's a bag. You found my lost bag. The imaginary coin never lies! Yes! Thanks so much. Can I give you a gift to show my appreciation? Sure, what is it? It's a hat? What is it? I really feel like you earned a soft serve hat. Okay. What is this? I hope it's charming. Okay, yeah. Good. It's... I was... Uh, good thing it's not the brown one because it looks like poop. Now it just looks like I have a bunch of toothpaste on my head. I mean, that's still not the best, but... I mean, it's it's better than having poop on your head. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just moving a couple things so I can uh, do this cute little thing I wanted to do. What is this thing, you might be asking? Well... The froggy chair revolution has been enacted. We will... Uh, 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 you're, uh, uh, cut, cut. Go to the commercial break. Are you tired of... Wait, we don't have a commercial break. Well, just go to something. Enjoy this lovely clip of a tarantula dancing. You saw nothing. I mean, uh, um, uh, here we are at the Happy Home Paradise Island. Hello, Nico. How you doing, buddy? Hi. You won't forget about the festival, right? It starts at 6 p.m. tonight. What? It's going to be a blast. See you at 6 p.m. on the North Beach. Don't be late. What? A festival? Oh, I think after you do the first festival, he does it like every Sunday or something. Okay. Oh, look, Dom, one of the most famous villagers. I might give him a vacation home. If you're wondering why we're making a second zoo, then go watch the last episode and all will be explained. Yeah, uh, I don't feel like explaining why we're making two zoos. I mean, it doesn't really need any explanation. Two zoos is... is is the right amount of zoos. Hello, Lottie. How you doing? Can you believe DJ KK himself will be performing here? Yes, I can, because he already did a couple of weeks ago. The show starts at 6 p.m., so don't let me catch you working right up until the last minute. Have some fun. Okay, uh... Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Let's talk about work. What's up? Are you looking for some work, Jack? Uh, I'm ready to work. Okay, let's get you working. Yeah, let's get me working. Anyway, oh, oh I had a voice crack there. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna be making the zoo too. Right. Who has the most boring idea? The most boring idea will be replaced with the zoo too. Right. We have. Uh, we, you were here yesterday. Okay. Uh, kitchen, cake. Okay, yeah, uh... You know what? Kitchen. Kitchen. We... The last one... The last one that we turned into a zoo was based off of appliances, so it only seems fair that we do the next one turned into a zoo themed around kitchen. They're kind of the same thing. I'm so excited for the festival. I'm absolutely tingling. I'm so very in the mood to dance. Okay. Goodness, you startled me. I didn't think anyone would hear me chattering away to myself. What? Well then, did you say you work in vacation homes? How very interesting, Ufda. Okay. You know, I've been thinking about having a second home built. Just a little vacation place to hide away. I don't suppose you could help me with that, could you? Uh, I've got ideas! It's called Dazoo 2! Oh, well, I do have some preliminary ideas, so I'd be thrilled to hear your thoughts, Ufta. Yeah. Go ahead, dazzle me. Okay. Do you like zoos? Who doesn't like a good zoo? Yeah! So then you'll be dazzled. This looks like the perfect place. Right, here we are! It's zoo time! It's zoo time! What time is it, Freya? What time is it? Uh, it's zoo time, Ufta. Yeah, it is! Oh, what a wonderful vacation home. Seeing it with my own eyes, well, it's stunning, Ufta. I bet it is. You look like sky, but pink. I'm on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it from here, Ufta. Just, just a little thing I noticed. Anyway, it's vacation home time. It's time to make a Dazula 2. 
We're gonna be using the same fence as we did in Dazoo 1. Also known as like the simple rope fence. So yeah, let's add some of this rope fence and then uh, we can add some animals. Right, I made the outlines of the pens, so now we need to figure out uh, the ground. So I'm thinking that we should have this ground for the everything except for in the cages, and then the cages can have some other types of ground. Right, there we go. Now we need to figure out what sort of habitats we're gonna have. So, I think the first habitat can be one for a bell cricket. So, we're gonna have uh, this over here, and then we're gonna need some wheat. So, uh, lots of wheat, and mushrooms, and mushrooms, you know, for that whole fall feel. Ah, the perfect exhibit for our bell cricket. So let's release our bell cricket into the exhibit. There we go. And where is he? Oh, I see him in the and I see him in the in the wheat, just hopping around. Let's see. Uh, when's he gonna actually come out of the wheat? I'm just waiting for that to happen. You know what? This is too much wheat. I'm getting rid of some of it. There. Now I can see the bell cricket. Boom. There he is. Anyway, next exhibit, butterfly exhibit. Right. For the butterfly exhibit, of course, we're gonna need some flowers. We're gonna need some white pansies and some red pansies. And then we can just duplicate those over and over again. And boom! Now we get to release our butterflies. And of course, the butterflies aren't actually gonna stay over the flowers because that's just how butterflies work. But I, I still, uh, I still uh, want to have a butterfly exhibit. So I bought extra butterflies just in case. But I don't think we're gonna have enough room for all of these butterflies. So we're gonna have the Roger Brooks bird wing. The peacock butterfly and the Madagascan suntan moth. Oh, and we can also add this uh, little ladybug here. And there we go. That's our butterfly exhibit. And the butterflies are, like I predicted, not anywhere close to the actual exhibit. The beetle exhibit is next. Let's add some of these trees so we can have some beetles on the trees. Right, let's add a saw stag and a horn dynastid. There they are on the trees, that is so cool. Right, next up we're gonna have the stump exhibit for all the stump bugs. So yeah, we got two stumps for the stump bugs. And I also want to add another thing. I want to add, uh, where is it? There, a rotting turnip. And you'll see why in a second. I'll put it right here. And I want a rotting turnip because I also want to add some ants to this section. Anyway, for the stump bugs, we're going to have Rosalina Batassi beetle and Longhorn beetle. Anyway, where are the ants? Where are the ants? Aren't they supposed to appear here? On the thing? Can they only, like, go one direction? Maybe I'll go in and go out. Right- No! No! The bell cricket is not in his exhibit! No! Anyway, where are the ants? I see no ants. Can they only go in one direction? So do I have to put them, like, here? Yes, they can only- What is up with that? Like, anywhere else they can go in both directions, I think. Okay. Oh, maybe that was too small of an area. No? Hello? Uh... Can I put him here? Only here will work? <gasps> They're going in a different direction now! How about here? Would this work? Okay, that works. That looks good still. Yeah, I, I like that. That looks that looks nice. What isn't so nice is the fact that the bell cricket doesn't know he's supposed to be in there. Oh, uh, this zoo is just a catastrophe. 
Next up, we have a beach exhibit for all the beach bugs. Uh, that, so that sounds that sounds like a that sounds like a, a band, the beach bugs. Anyway, let's release the beach bugs onto the beach area. These bugs are the blue weevil beetle and the horned atlas. And there. Wait a second! What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be on the other. Tr this is a catastrophe. The the bell cricket is not anywhere near his enclosure. The ants are broken, and now this. <sighs> Why did I have to make another zoo? The first zoo worked perfectly. Because I have no bug slots left for this vacation home, the last exhibit will have to be a uh, horseshoe crab exhibit instead of a bug exhibit. But hey, that works. Look, that's that's still cool. Anyway, uh, the the beetle finally. Ba went back into his own exhibit, and I, I guess it's okay. It's, I guess it's okay that the bugs just randomly decide to break the rules and, like, go to other exhibits. I mean, they're bugs. Th that's that's what they do. They break the rules. Anyway, yeah, I real, I'm really proud of this. This is a nice little zoo. I'm not proud of you though, Bell Cricket. I mean, like, you're not even in an exhibit. Boom! I made an exact recreation of what I made last time, except for the, the the pens are gonna have different animals in them. I'm so original. Right, I made three of the four exhibits. The snapping turtle exhibit, the lava monster exhibit, and the show-stopping seaweed exhibit. Look at that. That is just an amazing exhibit. <laughs> Anyway, there's one more left. I have no idea what- <gasps> The Rossetti exhibits! This is- Okay, so- Okay, 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 okay. We need- We need a Rossetti exhibit. We need a Rossetti exhibit. We need a Rossetti exhibit. That is the perfect last exhibit. You know what? I just noticed something. The seaweed exhibit doesn't have any carpet under it. You know what? It would make it a lot more show-stopping if it had carpet. Boom. Now it has bricks on it. On under it. Boom. Perfect exhibit. 10 out of 10. Boom, he's popping out of a tree stump. Perfect exhibit. Right. Now it's time for the upstairs, which is going to be our aquarium. Right. I made the overall layout of this place, but now we need actual fish in here for it to be an aquarium exhibit. So, what would be a good table to put them on? Oh, look! Cool low table. Those are always good because they're cool and low at the same time. Two of the best things! Anyway, wait, can you even, like, fit there? I just want to make sure- boom, yeah, yeah, you can fit there. Anyway, what sort of fish are we gonna have? Fish are, like, one of my favorite things, so this section is going to mean a lot to me. Let's see. We can have a Nemo. And we can have a dory. And we can have uh let's see, what would be what would be a really cool fish? A barrel eye, a barrel eye, that would be cool. And a vampire squid. Crawfish, crawfish. We need a crawfish. And a where is it? Frog. There. Right. Put the fresh water over here. The salt water over here and the cylinder ones over here right we need to turn all all their lights on bop boop bop boop bop boop there why did why does turning on the frog one turn off all the rest of them wait what why does turning on the frog one turn off all the rest what are you sick Okay, that's an oddly specific glitch if you... Uh, 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 okay, this is... This zoo was never... It was destined never to work, I feel like. You know what would make me feel better, though? More cool low tables. I mean, like, that of course is gonna... Is gonna, is gonna, is gonna it's naturally gonna make people feel better, so... Yeah, of course, it, of course I, it would make me feel better, too. More, more cool low tables. You know what? 
We need a one table. Is there the, is there like a table that is cool, low, and one? Like one one space of room? Uh we have the cool side table. I, it's not low, but I guess it'll have to work. We have to have a coelacanth. We just have to. I mean, like, it's it's one of the most famous fish. Of course we have to have a coelacanth in here. And we can have some other fish above it. Like, you know what? We don't need any other fish above it. I wish you could put, like, two by one fish on tables. Wait, there has been quite a lot of updates since I've tried to do that. Can you do it now? Dang it, dang it, dang it. That would be so cool to put it on a table. But you can't. Anyway, uh, let's see. What else can we have? Blowfish, horse mackerel, squid, and we need one more, uh, lobster. You know what, we need two more, so let's add a dab and a moon jellyfish. You know, now that I think about it, we might need four more, so let's have a golden trout, a catfish, a scallop, and a tiger prawn. We need a Popeye goldfish and a Rancho goldfish. Here and here. And the last part of this aquarium will be a touch pool where you can touch creatures. So we can have a giant isopod that you can touch, a spiny lobster that you can touch, don't get spined, and a snow crab. There's our touch tank. Anyway, we need some wall decorations. We need some serious wall decorations now. Right, I added a ton of stuff to the walls. <laughs> Has the frog decided to work yet? Oh, I didn't mean to go downstairs. It's gonna waste so much time. Frog, are you working now? <gasps> well, it actually worked, but it, fla it flashed weirdly. Anyway, are these guys gonna work? Is it still on? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna assume they all are gonna work. Whoa, the lobster is mad at me for some reason. Oh no, now they're off, now they're on. Wait, what is going on? Some of them are off, some of them are on. Turn that on, turn that on. So they should all be on now, but some, okay, yeah, they're on, boom, on, on. Anything off here, good. Okay, they're all working, right. Now, let's go downstairs, I mean outside, and take a photo. Right. No, the bell cricket is now in the other zip. Okay, he disappeared. Is he gonna reappear somewhere else, somewhere better? Where is he gonna reappear? On the floor. Of course, of course. Of course on the floor. Anyway, let's take that photo, and hopefully the bell cricket won't get in the way, because if he's not in his cage, he's not getting in the photo. Right. Uh... Let's use the pro camera to do this. Right, here's a photo. There's a good photo. Wait, I should take another one because the peacock butterfly was kind of in a weird position. There, and we also got the Raja Brooks butterfly. Right, boom, there, 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 that's good. Now we can, uh, oh, I gotta pick which one. Which one was better? This one was better. Hey, how do you like it? How is this vacation home coming along? Is it ready yet? It's ready. Yay! You did it! Thank you. You're welcome. Don't mind the bell cricket. He's not... He's... he's, he's He knows what he did. <laughs> You've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home. I could not be happier, Ufta. By the way, what would you say the theme of this vacation home is? If it has a name, I'd love to know it. It actually does have a name! Dazutu! The perfect name. Delightful, let me say it aloud. Dazu too, yes? That's rather good, Ufta. Gesundheit. What? Dazu too? Gesundheit. Okay, I get when people do that with cashew, not so much Dazu too. It's close enough. Okay, whatever. Let's just see how she likes it. Thank you.
Right! It seems like she had, uh... An idea to go into all of the all of the pens. Oh well, we did need a we did need a wolf exhibit. Oh my dear, you've done so much for me. Ah no. Now I think I'll put my feet up and enjoy my new vacation home. Would you care to join me, Ufta? I would care to join you. Okay, Bell Cricket, you are legitimately killing me. You, I released you into that exhibit, and you were in your own exhibit once. And then for the rest of them, you were either not in your exhibit, any exhibit, or in somebody else's exhibit. And that goes for you, too! Look, they're all, they're all going to the, 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 the moth, the stag beetle, and the cricket are all deciding to just hijack the other exhibits. That's where all the cool insects hang out. Oof, that. Okay, not a single butterfly has been next to the garden. Well, that's expected, but... Not expected that the stag beetle and ugh, just whatever, whatever. I am going to end this episode before anything else goes wrong. Anyway, like about this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna be doing the zoo three. I'm joking. That is not gonna be a thing. But well, maybe. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Go, 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 bye, you go, goofy goofballs. Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep me in awesome. Thank you for coming, Officer Bell. I have got some very important information on public enemy number one. Oh, tell me all about it. Just the facts, ma'am. What, ma'am? Okay, okay, wh whatever. So, this enemy has been breaking and entering, and he has been stealing, and he's doing do, doing so many other crimes, and I actually have a picture of him here. Good. Let's take a look. Boom! There's the picture of public enemy number one. Got it. We'll put it on APB.